Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Shane Holmes YMCA. We are here bright and early for a very special announcement. But before we start, I'd like to acknowledge that we are very respectfully gathered here today on Treaty 7 territory, home to the Blackfoot Confederacy of the Siksika, the Kainai, the Pagani, as well as the Sutina and Stony Nakoti nations of Bearspaw, Chiniki, and Wesley. This area also has deep importance to the people of the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. I'm honored to be your MC for this morning's event. And I'd like to acknowledge our special guests and speakers here today. Minister of Culture, Jason Lewan. Minister of Children's Services, Mickey Amory. And Kelly Oilerking, Executive Director of Kidsport Alberta. To kick off today's exciting announcement, please join me in welcoming Alberta's Minister of Culture, Jason Luan, to the podium. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Shannon. Uh, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's wonderful to gather for such an exciting announcement today. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to thank and acknowledge our special guests here. Of course, my dear friend, Honorable Minister of Children's Services, Mickey Amory. Uh, Shannon, you met already, President uh, and CEO of y, uh, YMCA Calgary. And Dean uh, Patlock, VP of Community Engagement, uh, YMCA. Uh, Dean, I see you earlier. Welcome. <clears throat> and Tennis Cochran, uh, COO of uh, YMCA Calgary. Uh, Tamara Lee, General Manager, Shane Holmes, Rocky Ridge. YMCA. Uh, of course, uh, Kelly O'Leary King, uh, she will speak later as Executive Director of Kids Sports Alberta and Youth Empowerment and Skills Center uh, Free Friday Basketball Team. Uh, I saw them earlier. I, I'm looking forward right after the announcement. We'll have some fun together. And thank you guys for being here with us. <clears throat> Sports is important. It adds the wealth of benefits to our physical and mental health. It is Sufficient, it is scientifically proven that to improve our physical and mental health, we need to do a lot of physical exercise. We believe that it's important for our burdens, especially kids, to be able to access sports, physically become active, and participate in recreational programs with such. We want to make sports, physical activity, and recreational accessible and affordable for all our burden kids. It is through this commitment that I'm happy to announce that our program, Every Kids Can Play, will be started now with $8 million investment from Government of Alberta. Thank you. This program aims to ensure that kids can have affordable access to sports and recreation. <clears throat> Budget 2023, Alberta's government is committing $8 million to make, make programs like this accessible and affordable for Alberta's kids. We all know that uh, COVID has done so much damage to our kids. Uh, the isolation didn't help with them, but when we're able to open up now, have added resource to expand the program to have our kids become active again, not only it will help them physically, but their mental wellness too. So I am very pleased that our government is standing behind the 1.3 million uh, Alberta kids and their parents to help them stay uh, physically healthy and emotionally well. Eligible organizations across the province will be able to apply for grants to help them create community level program that is affordable and accessible. The program will be effective start next month, uh, actually June 2023. And to ensure that parents get the help they needed, we're pleased to partner with uh, Kids Sports again, who make a big difference in the lives of burdens struggling with inflation. Kids Sports has a wealth of experience to help our burdened families with subsidized, subsidized costs of participating in the child's favorite sports for physical activities. As part of this partnership, Kids Sports Alberta will be administering the program, and for that, we're very grateful. The next generation of Albertans will shape the future of our province 
We're focusing on nurturing the next generation and providing them with opportunities to live healthy and stay active. It brings me great pride and joy to know that this program is anticipated to help over uh, 8,500 uh, 8, uh, children and youth with registration subsidies and will support uh, over 200 sports building of, uh, community organization groups like uh, YMC and others to expand programs to have more our burdens can access their support services. I also want to mention that the third layer of this program, we intentionally build community level organizations like our black community and other ethnic communities. They can create their own uh, recreational program through application to this grant. So you can tell from our three layers of uh, design that this $8 million will be right there to support every kid in Alberta. So thank you so much uh, for having the opportunity to share my words. Now I'm going to turn the mic back to uh, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minister. It's now my pleasure to welcome Children's Services Minister Mickey Amory to the podium to say a few words, Minister. Thank you uh, very much, Shannon, and uh, good morning, everyone. It is great to be here with Minister Luan and all of you to announce such wonderful news. Every Kid Can Play will make a real difference for families who have been through so much over the past few years. This initiative is one of many that our government is taking to make life better for young Albertans. During the pandemic, children and youth lost access to in-person learning, after-school activities, cultural events, and even free time with their friends. As we all experienced firsthand, the pandemic was an uncertain and often isolating time, especially for vulnerable children, youth, and families. We know how much a child's health and well-being depends on their social relationships, their community involvement, and their interaction with their peers. That's why, in spring of 2021, Alberta's government launched the Child and Youth Wellbeing Review Panel to learn more about the social, the psychological, the educational, and physical effects of COVID-19 on young people across this province. The panel, which included my colleagues, Minister Rebecca Schultz, and now Minister Matt Jones, prepared a report with 10 recommendations based on expert advice and lived experience from parents and youth. One of these recommendations was to improve access to cultural, sports, artistic, and recreational activities for children and youth. This recommendation became even more important as we emerged from the pandemic, only to be hit by an inflation crisis that left many parents struggling to afford the activities that their kids love. And so, last fall, Premier Danielle Smith asked Minister Luan and me to collaborate on moving forward with some of these recommendations. I'm proud to say that Every Kid Can Play will do exactly that. This funding will help community organizations remove barriers for kids who might otherwise miss on important opportunities to live out the joy of play, of teamwork, and healthy, active lifestyles. While the grant to kids sport will ensure that children are not paying the price for inflation. We at Children's Services are looking forward to supporting our friends at Culture to get this ball rolling so that more kids can start playing again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Minister. It's now my pleasure to invite Kelly Olerking from Kids Sport to the podium. Kelly. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. Exciting day today. Um, I am honored to be here today for the announcement of the Every Kid Can Play program. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to touch on last year. The Government of Alberta launched the Return to Play program, which saw an investment of $1.85 million to kids sport to assist low-income children into sports to help them get after or active after the pandemic and that, the pause that we saw in sport. 
Um, so with that, I'm happy to announce that Kids Sport Alberta helped 11,000 kids pay, play sport um, last year with that funding, and it would not have been possible without the support of the government. Um, we are proud to partner with the government of Alberta on the Every Kid Gets to Play program to grow upon the work we were doing last year. And this initiative will provide 350 per qualified child to assist with registration costs for sport programs across the province. The investment of $3 million from the Government of Alberta represents a significant commitment to supporting low-income families and ensuring that every child in Alberta has the opportunity to participate in sports. We know that playing sports has a tremendous positive impact on children's physical, mental and emotional well-being. And we are excited to work with the Government to make these benefits accessible to more children across the province. At Kidsport, we believe that every child should have the chance to play and experience the joys of sports. We know that the cost of registration fees can be a significant barrier for many families, and that is why we are grateful for the government's support in making sports more accessible and affordable. By working together, we can help more kids experience the benefits of sport, including improved physical health, increased self-confidence, and a sense of belonging in community. So on behalf of Kidsport Alberta, I want to express our gratitude to the Government of Alberta for their investment in the Every Kid Can Play program. We look forward to working with the government and our partners to help more kids play, learn and grow through sports. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kelly. It's now my pleasure to offer a few more remarks before we hand it over for questions. YMCA Calgary is committed to building happy and healthy communities. Here in the bustling hub of Calgary's Northwest, proof of that can be seen in every corner of this facility. From our early years, Child Development Center to our busy courts and theaters, we are proud to enable and facilitate safe and inclusive places for our future leaders to grow. The Government of Alberta's investment in Every Kid Can Play program is an additional support for children and youth from across Alberta, building access to opportunities to keep them active and healthy. Through play, children and youth learn about the world around them. They make important social connections. They develop fundamental literacy skills for life. I believe that access to sport and physical activity has three critical outcomes. One, it creates healthy physical development and growth crucial during the most formative years. It develops physical literacy, such as coordination and balance for sport and recreation. And this is particularly important when you hear about statistics related to sport dropout rates in young people. And finally, it's been shown to improve mental health and well-being, reduce stress and anxiety, and promote better sleep. This regular activity can also help children and youth build confidence and self-esteem while building their sense of identity and resilience. This program will undoubtedly help organizations like YMCA Calgary ensure that children and youth, regardless of their family circumstance, have access to physical activity, recreation programming, and sport. We look forward to seeing the positive impact of this on our community. So with that, I will now pass it over to Jason Kwan, Press Secretary at the Ministry of Culture, to conduct the Q&A portion of the event. Jason. All right. Thanks, uh, Shannon. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we'll now open it up to take some questions. Uh, we'll start with those in person here and then move uh, over to the phone. Do we have any questions here in person? All right, operator, do we have any questions uh, online? There are no questions on the phone at this time. Okay, since there are no questions, I uh, guess that will conclude our press conference, everyone. <laughs>